Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is David, and this is Down to Adventure. Uh, been doing a lot of ice fishing. Uh, right now, I can't get out and go ice fishing, so I got a uh, couple tips for you. Tips and tricks, things that have been helping us get on more fish, catch all these monsters. Okay, so one thing is going to be, uh, whenever it comes to your jig, whatever jig you want to use, I mean, they'll hit a variety of things depending on what you're fishing for. Whenever it comes to your jig, you know, a lot of times you just tie it on and and that's it. There we go. But uh, if you actually take this line, see how this is hanging right now? Tail down. It's going to be jigging down there. Okay, so if you take this and you actually rotate your knot, rotate your knot over... Rotate it over to be on that side of the loop. It's going to make it hang better in the water column. And of course, this one's a little bit heavier, but this is a little bit heavier of a jig. But see, now it's hanging more, uh, it's hanging more flat, more natural. There we go. And see that's because it's rolled back to the back of the eye of the jig. Okay. Next thing is uh, take another thing that will help is uh, take a, a bead or a corky. Usually you want to use like a bright color. You got an orange bead on here right now. So a corky floats a little bit better than a bead. A bead is going to come like, you know, it's going to float up like six inches from your your bait, your jig, and then it'll just kind of move around while you bob it. Okay, but if you take a, a corky, it's going to float up to wherever, wherever it stops. Okay. And then this setup, particularly, I've got, a micro swivel here this micro swivel it'll reel through the eyes of the pole it'll reel through your reel you can reel it right up it's a micro swivel this is this is what kind and what size I'm using right now kabam okay but so that if you're using a corky that's what I use to stop mine my buddies they use a split shot down closer to the jig but I use this this swivel to stop my bead. I put this swivel in because even though you're hanging it straight down, your uh, your line can still get line twist in it from a fish fighting swimming around. You can still get quite a bit of line twist in it, and so this will just take out that line twist, make it make it nicer. You know, whenever you go to drop your your jig down and it's freaking negative four degrees outside you don't want no problems you don't want your reel all going all freaking out and you just want that line to go straight down and so i do that so i don't have any issues okay and the next thing is say you have a, a jig kind of like this one this is a little tungsten jig glow in the dark you charge it up with a flashlight and it'll glow and a plastic like this okay so you can rig it so that that is on there like that Okay, but what I like to do sometimes is um, just wacky rig it. If you're if anybody if you're a bass fisherman, you know what rack, wacky rig means. But so you just rig it on sideways like that. And then if you do it this way, you want to rotate the line to the top of your eye because you're gonna want this. You're going to want this to hang in there like that. Bam. And then whenever you move it around, it's going to give it a lot more movement. Now the, the front and the back can move. Bam. Okay. So there's, uh, I think that's like four tips. I don't know. But yeah, these are all things that help me catch more fish ice fishing. You know. And it's, it's things that don't take too much effort, too much knowledge. It's just little adjustments to your rig. It's not... 
No, nothing too crazy. And also on these these jigs with a smaller hook, if you wacky rig it, I think the hookup is a little bit better in my opinion, rather than going this way. It's gonna leave that hook more exposed, wacky rigging it, and also, you know, then instead of grabbing the tail and missing a hook set, they could they're more likely to grab the hook whenever the hook's right in the center of the bait. Yeah. Well, bam. Jig her down there. Get it. All right, man. These uh these help a lot with uh catching panfish, trout, perch, yada yada yada. Um try them out. Let me know. Hope this helps. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for checking it out, y'all. Laters.